Baseball Rules Academy presents Baseball Rule of the Week. A fielder throws his glove at a thrown ball. The penalty for tossing your glove and then making contact with a thrown ball is two bases. Let's take a look at this Major League game. Stevens floats this one out into center. That's going to fall for a hit. That's going to move Duvall to third. Wild throw goes into the dugout. And the run will score. And the Reds have regained the lead here in the bottom. In this case, the glove did not make contact with the ball, so there's no detached equipment rule invoked. But if a thrown ball is touched by detached equipment, each runner, including the batter runner, will advance two bases, and the ball remains in play. It's also two bases if the fielder deliberately throws his glove at and touches a thrown ball. The ball remains in play. The umpire must rule that the thrown glove or the detached cap or mask has actually touched the ball because there's no penalty if the ball is not touched. And this penalty shall not be invoked against a fielder whose glove is carried off his hand by the force of a battered or thrown ball, or when his glove flies off his hand as he makes an obvious effort to make a legitimate catch. So let's take a look at the entire detached equipment rule. If a fielder deliberately touches a ball with detached equipment, like a cap or a mask, or he throws his glove and that glove touches a ball, there's a base award given. If it's a pitch ball, the runners get one base. A thrown ball, two bases. A batted ball, three bases. The ball is in play and remains alive until the play is over. Now, the runners may attempt to advance beyond their awarded bases, but they do so at his own peril. Support our sponsors and get an exclusive offer from Jerry Davis Sports. Enter the promo code RULES for 15% off. BaseballRulesAcademy.com, your number one source for rules of the game.